Yo, what is going on gangsters? Welcome back to Jake's journey, mate. And today, we're gonna to be taking this to Wix's, go and find some wood, because we're gonna start putting the lathing in on the inside of the van. That is what the boards, the fascias, uh, that make your walls uh, go onto. So, we're gonna go and grab that stuff, check it out, and start decking it out, man. Uh, we've gotta get this done because we need to do that before the insulation goes in. So, we're on a bit of a time trial at the minute. It is currently the 24th of February and the 1st of March I am insulating. So we're to a bit of a time schedule. We're going to get it smashed out. And uh, yeah, let's get to Wix's. Before we go anywhere, I'm hungry and I want a snacky bit. Mate, it looks so good. Oh my God. I'm going to play with so much wood. <laughs> <laughs> now, legit though, it is so nice and airy in here. Especially, <laughs> look at the sun like beaming through. Bro, this is sick. Check. I've got sliding windows, man. Check that out. Check that out, boy. On this side as well. Let's do that. Let's do a bit of that. Come on. Shoot. Gunk. One here as well. Shagunk. I've just got a breeze, man. I've got a roof fan as well. <laughs> I'm like Robin Hood. I don't know why I'm like Robin Hood. I'm like Captain Jack Sparrow. That's why I'm like. This is my ship, man. This is my ship. All aboard. Let's set sail to Wix's. It's actually cold in here now I've opened everything. Let's just close all this back up. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. It might F with the, uh... oh, well that one locks in place. So I'm guessing you can drive with that open. I think that'll make the curtains go everywhere. When there is curtains, there isn't curtains at the minute. Well, let's just close those two. This place is light AF and beautiful. I love this. I'm very happy. Bro. What the? What is going on? What is actually going on? Bro, I swear down, yeah? I'm like, a couple of weeks ago, man was like cutting around with a day sack on and like wearing MTP and uniforms and like berets and stuff and I had to shave every day, even though it looks like I shave every day because I've got crap facial hair. But these series, man, I am so buzzing for these series. I'm just going off on a mad tangent now, but I'm just buzzing because I'm sat here and I can imagine the layout and the bed and the bedding and this beautiful light coming through and just looking mint. And I'm like, bro, I never not feel at home again. Like, I've bounced around for the last how long since I was 16 years old. And you know, you just never feel like somewhere's home. This already feels like home. Shower, sink, bed. Somewhere to charge my laptop so I can edit videos for use lot. This, this is the gaff, man. Right, I'm gonna go and collect some wood because I'm getting freaking emotional here. There she is, looking fit, eh? Yeah. So, Wixes, let's see what she's saying. What the hell? What we've got here is a pack of eight, well, two packs of eight, one being 2.4 meters and the other one 1.8. And it is 22 mil by 47 mil. And that's just gonna be for the upright laughing that we've got over there. I went and got the bikes. They're there now. I'm basically just gonna try and like figure out and build around them. The supports for the bed are gonna go so I can figure out the height so then I can decide where the laugh is going for what I'm putting in today. Know what I mean? I've just been into Wix's again and this is what we've got. These are, let's have a gander, 44 by 69 mil and they are probably gonna be the lengths for the bed. I mean, I've measured it, but I'll just double check. Measure twice, cut once, you know what they say. Who's they? The men of the trade. What the flipping heck? That was scary. I'm gonna mark it out. Who's Mark? Ah, lol. That's well good. That's perfect. So that's both in, mate, and that's kind of like how the bed's gonna be. I'm not really gonna explain to you yet whether it's going to be a sideways bed or whether it's going to slide out because it'll all come with time and it's going to look cool but the only reason i put these in now is so that when it comes down to, i wanted to make sure that the bikes fit in uh, and i could have them on one of those slidey things but i also wanted to make sure where i was putting the laths that go in upright on each side right so the first ones i'm going to put in is the ones down this side in order to get it into the corner i'm just gonna to have to take a wee slice off that corner there not gonna to lie to you i've cut that better in the past but it looks all right to me. I'll show you the first one, then I'll crack on. What I've just done, it's got my drill with a drill bit. I've gone through the wood 
marked the metal. I've then taken the wood away. Where the metal was marked, I've then drilled through. Now you've got a line in holes. So what you can do then is grab your wood, get yourself a countersink bit, and then you're gonna countersink the hole. That's just so your screw sits flush, so when the ply board goes on, it doesn't interrupt it. What we're gonna do then is grab your impact driver again, this time with a screwdriver head on, because we're gonna screw in a screw through the wood and into the metal. Get it, so that's just poking through slightly the other side, and then you can align your screw with the metal where you've drilled the hole. That is in, and it is solid as hell. I've done one at the bottom, one at the top, and one in the center, just to pull it in and bring it close, and follow the curvature of the van as it follows down like that. It is the next day, and what is going on, gangsters? Welcome back. Even though it's been two seconds for you, it's been an evening for me. So, what I'm gonna do now, is you've seen how to do that, I'm gonna continue that, and then we're gonna move on to the bits and bobs and just smash it all out. So, just cue a time lapse of me just smashing out bits and bobs and probably just chatting cack in a voiceover. Woo! Measure, saw, drill, repeat. It takes its toll and time, but eventually, once there's a few in place, you can actually see where your work started to go. Yet another day. We'll show you what's going on there in the morning, but the morning for you is in approximately three, two, one. And now I've just put this little slot in to sort of raise it up to get in line with this lap. I just don't want to go in here too hard and, and split that piece of built. Check before you wreck, bro. I'm getting good at this, man. Swear down. Don't mean to blow my own trumpet, but I'm sick. So I'm building the frame in around here, yeah. And I was like, whoops. I was like, right, how am I going to build a frame around the window? So I've just screwed all this together. That is looking mint. So all I'm going to do now is cut out some ply that I've got there on the floor, that's four mil ply, and I'm gonna put it behind that square. I've laid it on the back here, and all I'm gonna be using is these little grub screws just to go through the back. What I had to do was just get the grinder, or the grinder disc on the back, just to wear those bolts down, just so it'd sit more flush to the window. But look, I've built this around it now, so you've got top window ledge, your bottom window ledge, your left and your right. So once I put that on and it's sort of stick flexed in place and it's got the side bits on, that'll sit like that. And then you'll have board going back to each corner of that uh, surround. And that actually looks pretty mint if, uh, if I don't say so myself. I've just rocked up for uh, my day and this is where we are, sunlight pouring in. And uh, yeah, it's looking, oh, looking groovy. There she is in a natural habitat, man. So for this bit, I had to take Part of the wall that I'd already built back apart again. Bit annoying, but anyway, life goes on. So I had a sticker flex behind it so I could fit the frame on, and that worked pretty well to be honest. Held it in place with a decent amount of strength, and it did pretty well. So can't complain with that. Once I did that, I screwed in the surrounding boards, and it seemed to work, man. Thank God that is done. Right. As much as I enjoyed doing it, it was a real ball ache, but there we go. That's the finished product. We basically got the window now boxed in around there, same this side. And it looks really good. It's a bit rough around the edges at the minute because I'll put a little lip, a little bead that'll just cover the edge between that and that. And obviously this will all get painted white in here and stuff and uh, get looking all groovy. But I'm really happy with that. And it seems to have uh, come together quite nicely. This is the final day. So today I need to finish this laughing because tomorrow at 0900, I'm getting it spray foamed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I have, I've basically got tonight's video that I've been editing and stuff, which is last week's video too. And um, yeah, it's all, I've spent that much time over the last week just videoing and dealing with the van so much and doing bits and bobs that I've just completely forgot about actually editing. So now I'm like, crap, backlog. What am I doing? What's going on? And I'm just flapping. And I've got to edit this video before tomorrow night to go out. And I've also got to get down to Gloucester to get this thing spray foamed. And it's all just gone mental and I'm cacking it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's basically the situation. Let's give ourselves two hours and we're gonna get this smashed out. And then it gives us enough time to get back, pack, get ourselves down to Gloucester. And then from Gloucester, I'm heading down to Bex's for my birthday.
The van is finally. Uh, <sighs> the van is finally all laughed. Um, we're laughing. <laughs> it's ready for spray foam. It's been a long day. I know I've only been out since nine, but this it just takes so much time. Like it literally looks like yeah. Have a look around. It literally looks like there's not too much to it. For every hole you've got to drill, for every screw that you've got to put in. Right, we've done all like the ceiling now and stuff. These laths in between the bars for the uh, for when the ceiling can connect to. We've got like these extender bars, which that one only ever hangs and is triple supported there with screws, just because that's going to come to about here with an overhead shelf, but overhead storage that goes the full length of the van that side. So that's been accounted for uh, with these beams and stuff. And yeah, it's basically just this geezer now, tomorrow, is going to just spray behind them. Tomorrow is where the fun bit starts, because once that insulation is in, we can lit the world's our oyster, we can start boarding, we can start doing bits and bobs like that. We've still got to figure out where the electricity points are going to go and stuff like that, but you know what? I'm not worrying about that too much, um, even though I am cacking myself about doing electricity. We'll figure it out as always, guys. But yeah, off you go and get spray foam tomorrow. Buzz in. This is how you laugh and fit, up, fit out, ready for boarding and insulation, a Peugeot Boxer L4. Uh, same whether it's a Fiat Ducato uh, or a Citroen Relay. Same bam, same detail. It's been a pleasure, gangsters. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. It's been an absolute pleasure. I will see you for the next one. We're really ramping it up now. Let's get this build on the go and in full flow, bro. Bang.